One, naming senders. We can name the senders to differentiate them. Add senders on the design page. Right click on the senders that need to be renamed. Choose Rename on the menu. And directly input the names of the senders into the popped up window. Two, sender EDID. ISAT supports changing the sender EDID of input video. Choose Sender on the Design page. Choose EDID on the right-click button. The software will pop up the Sender EDID window. We can choose the preset EDID and can also choose Custom EDID. When customing the EDID of senders, we can also set the frame rate. 3. Sender Layout Only when two or more senders exist, can we set the layout of the sender? Click on the Sender Layout button. ISAT will show the whole layout of the sender to adjust the arrangement of each sender in the view area. Please note that moving senders here does not change the content of the screen. 4. Import and Export of Mapping The mapping can be imported and exported by senders and can be imported and exported by netports. Right-click on the sender icon. Choose Import Mapping by Sender or Export Mapping by Sender from the pop-up menu to import or export the mapping. Choose the netport that needs mapping to be imported or exported. Right-click on the netport icon. Choose Import Layout by Port or Export Layout by Port from the pop-up menu to import or export the mapping. 5. Lock and hide cabinets on netport. On the design page, we can lock or hide the cabinets on netports. There is an eye icon on the upper left corner of every netport. Click on this icon, we can show or hide all the cabinets. There is a lock icon on the upper right corner of every netport. Click on this icon. We can lock or unlock the position of all the cabinets on the netboard. When the position of the cabinet is locked, the cabinet cannot be moved. 6. Selecting cabinets. Click on any cabinet within the cabinet group to select this group. To select a certain cabinet, double click on this cabinet within the cabinet group. We can also select multiple cabinets within the group at the same time. First, select one cabinet within the group and hold the control key. Left click to select other cabinets at the same time. 7. Change the amount of cabinets. Choose the cabinet group that needs the cabinet amount to be changed. Hold the shift key. At this time, small boxes will show up around this cabinet group. Meanwhile, drag the small boxes using the mouse to change the amount of the cabinets. 8. Group and Ungroup Choose multiple ungroup cabinets. Click the Group icon to build up a cabinet group. We can also build up a new cabinet group with multiple cabinets. Choose a cabinet group. Click on the Ungroup icon. We can ungroup this cabinet group. 9. Moving Cabinets After choosing cabinets, we can use the mouse to directly move the position of the cabinets. We can also change the starting position from Choose Information on the right side. ISA has the Attraction function. During dragging the cabinets, the cabinets will be automatically attracted to the nearby cabinets. If the Attraction function is not needed, we can turn it off by unchecking Enable Attraction on the main menu. 10. Highlighting Cabinets We can highlight the cabinets in ISAT. To locate the position of a certain cabinet, click on the Highlight button and then click a cabinet in the View area. At this time, the frames of the cabinet will display colors of red, white, blue, and green circularly. 
the indicator light behind the highlighted cabinets will blink at lower frequency than other cabinets. And if there is an LED screen on the back of the cabinet, the LED screen will display different colors. 11. Video Area Settings When no sender has been connected in ISA or no video input has been connected to sender, the default size of the video area is 1920 multiplied by 1080. If the size of the video input is not 1920 multiplied by 1080, we can choose Video Area Settings from the right-click menu of the video area. The Video Area Settings window will pop up. Check Custom Video Area to custom setting the video area. Twelve, View Scaling and Move Under both the Design page and Control page, we can scale or move the view area. Both pages have the current scaling on the toolbar. Click on the Scaling drop-down box. We can set scaling of the view. When the focus of the mouse is on the view area, hold the Control key, then scale the view by scrolling the mouse wheel up and down. Click the Move View icon on toolbar, then put the mouse on the view area. Hold the left key and move the mouse. The view will move according to the direction of the mouse movement. 13. Print When the mapping of the cabinet has been set, we can print out the mapping of the cabinets of each sender. We can also print out the whole layout of the senders. Click on the Print button on toolbar to enter the Print Preview window. At this window, we can set the paper size and the page orientation. There are two buttons on the Print Preview window, Menu and Print. Click on the Menu button, a drop-down menu will pop up. We can set up these four items on the menu. Save as Picture, Show Video Area, Watermark Setting, and Enable Binding. Save as Picture. We can save the preview image as a picture file. Show Video Area. If Cancel checking this option, the print preview window will only show the layout of the cabinets. Watermark setting. Set up the watermark of the print page. We can turn watermark function on or off. We can also custom setting the content of the watermark. Enable binding. After binding is enabled, iSet will leave room for binding on the left. Click on the print button we can directly print out the status of cabinet connections of each sender. Please note that each print preview is only for one sender. If we need to print out multiple senders, we need to manually switch senders. When there are two or more senders, click the Sender Layout button. We can print out the whole layout of all senders. 14. Show or High Screen there is a Show or High Screen icon on the upper right corner of iSet. Click on this icon, we can display the mapping of the cabinets on the preview window pixel to pixel. If the mapping is correct and the input video signal is from this computer, the cabinets displayed on the preview window will match with the display of the LED screen. 15. Sender Selection on Control Page we can quickly choose the combination of the senders through the grouping bonds below. Sender groups can be renamed and customed. The screen here is formed by the left screen, central big screen, and the right screen. If we need to adjust the whole screen, click on the All group. If we need to adjust the central big screen, choose the central group for adjusting the central big screen. Similarly, choose the left and right group for adjust the left and right screens. After choosing multiple senders, we can set the parameters of these senders in a batch. That's everything for the intermediate tutorial. Thank you.